In the United States, we consume kilowatts like candy. We may try to conserve, but there seems a bottomless demand for energy. At the same time, there is a limit to our energy supply, especially as oil gets scarcer and more expensive. Yet there is a partial answer. Coal, low sulfur western coal, probably America's most abundant energy source well into the 21st century. So coal is vital to America's future. But to be ultimately useful, the western coal has to reach the generating plants that transform it into power. Getting it to where it has to go is one of the jobs of Burlington Northern. It comes from big country, the coal, from the regions of huge sky, high plains, short grass in northern Wyoming and southern Montana. There, the coal boom amounts to a second opening of the West. Lines of the Burlington Northern pass through the vast Fort Union Coal Formation, home of 18 surface mines. Additional mines are on the drawing board. BN's assignment is to move this coal over four rail corridors to waiting power plants in the Pacific Northwest, Midwest, and Southwest. The hauling of that coal is one of the greatest challenges and greatest opportunities to face an American railroad in modern times. rapid expansion of the western coal industry propelled BN into the largest rail maintenance and construction program of the past half century. It has put BN among the nation's largest coal carriers. In the space of half a decade, BN has spent about a billion dollars to upgrade and expand its coal carrying capability. At the western mines, huge silos funnel coal into moving trains. More than a hundred cars in about three hours. Sometimes eight trains a day. When one of them heads down the track, it's a lot of coal underway. And a lot of money. About eight million dollars worth of high horsepower locomotives and specially built cars. These are unit trains carrying a single product straight through to a single destination. This eliminates time-consuming, expensive delays in switching and freight yards. Without unit trains, the cost of transporting coal to market would be prohibitive. A typical loaded unit train weighs about 14,000 tons, so wear and tear on equipment is considerable. At its new maintenance and repair shops at Alliance, Nebraska, BN deals with that problem. Here, BN maintains many hundreds of locomotives a year. Can repair 140 cars every 24 hours. Here, at this key point on the central and southern coal corridors, BN keeps its rolling stock rolling. The impending buildup of coal traffic made it apparent that new tracks would be needed to speed the flow. BN responded by building the gillette Oran line, the longest stretch of new railroad to be laid in the United States since 1931. Reaching 116 miles from Gillette, Wyoming to Oran, Wyoming, the new line links BN's principal east-west routes. It provides another way into and out of the coal fields, reduces traffic congestion, and cuts up to 155 miles round trip from some of the halls south. As construction of the new line begins, the Wyoming landscape comes alive with great machines. By the time the new line is completed, they will have moved more than 15 million cubic yards of earth to build the roadbed. And they will have replaced over a million yards of topsoil so grass can grow again. The 
line crosses the grain of the country. 26 bridges are built, underpasses and overpasses, including the span across Antelope Creek, 60 feet high, nearly 500 feet long. It's range country with wildlife and livestock. There was concern about how the animals would cross the line. To accommodate them, BN installs numerous box culverts and underpasses, safe crossing for animals, easy access to the range for modern day cowboys. And then comes the steel gang, good workers. They have to be, for despite advances in technology and machinery, building a railroad is some of the hardest work you can do.